Radio Network, Westwood One Radio Network. Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers says that he doesn't have a preference on whether he plays in the team's preseason finale against the Giants Saturday and stands by his words of saying preseason football is not, quote, real football. The Jets open the regular season against the 49ers on Monday Night Football. Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski says that all starters should expect to play in their preseason finale against the Seahawks Saturday. And that includes quarterback Deshaun Watson. Watson hasn't played in a game since suffering a season-ending shoulder injury last November. Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford was back at practice fully participating in 11-on-11 drills Tuesday. Stafford missed some time dealing with hamstring tightness. And Lions running back Jameer Gibbs is expected to return to practice next week and is trending the right way to play week one against those Rams, according to head coach Dan Campbell. Gibbs also dealing with a hamstring injury. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Hi, welcome to Staples. Hi, my son's teacher emailed his back-to-school list. He needs crayons and a comp book for every subject. Okay, no problem. With Staples Hot Deals, you'll find super low prices on hundreds of items for back-to-school. Oh, uh, now they're saying he needs folders and glue. You got it. And markers? Of course. Oh, geez. Can we get a card, please? Save big on back-to-school with Staples Hot Deals. Right now, 24-pack Crayola crayons and comp books are only 50 cents each at Staples. Ends 824 East Store only limit 10. This is the story of the one. As a maintenance engineer, he hears things differently. To the untrained ear, everything on his shop floor might sound fine, but he can hear gears grinding or a belt slipping. So he steps in to fix the problem at hand before it gets out of hand. And he knows Granger's got the right product he needs to get the job done, which is music to his ears. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Well, happy Wednesday, 21st day of August, 2024. Ah, it's another soupy day in the neighborhood. I'm Carol, Jared in the newsroom. Ah, boy, I'm still trying to dry off from a shower I took two hours ago. Yeah, it's like that out yeah. there today. Oh, well. Anyway, I can see the end. The end is near. Middle of September, okay? Yeah, you always say, you know, uh, what, by by Labor Day, we're looking no, no. good? Middle of September. All Labor right. Day is still going to be warm. And, uh, you know, typically, uh, you know, Labor Day weekend uh, is, uh, what, September 1st, the kickoff of dove season? Yes. And, uh, you know, typically it's going to get hot, get humid, and uh, possibly even some storms just to... Uh, Help the dove elude the hunters. Just for them. Just, Just for them. that very reason. How oh, well. Anyway, middle of September. All right. And um, I, you know, I just kind of have to go with that. J.D. Womack explained that to me years ago. And um, he was, has always been pretty right. So, Okay. Well, in the news, a Virginia teenager is being honored by Time Magazine as Kid of the Year. Heyman Bekele was chosen because of a soap he invented to help treat some kinds of skin cancer. The 15-year-old won last year's 3M Young Scientist Challenge for his invention. <laughs> hey, Mom, Dad, don't feel bad. Hey. Your kid has an honor roll sticker in the back of your Honda Odyssey, right? Okay, you got something to be proud of. Uh, 15 years old, and I um, think the kid's got a bright future. Cur curing cancer, you know, that, that's, you know, top, top, <laughs> top yeah. of the line right there. Well, not curing it, but treating it. Treating it. All okay. Right, well. And uh, today is annually celebrated as Senior Citizens Day in the U.S., a day to honor and appreciate the contributions of senior citizens to society. <laughs> so don't forget to leave your left turn blinker on, okay? <sighs> that uh, will help celebrate, I suppose. Are you ready for football? I'm ready for some football. Okay, it'll be uh, tomorrow night. It will be uh, the Southwest Eagles invading Holtville to take on the Vikings. And uh, we'll be on the air on AM 1230 at 645. John Driffle and I are back. And um, 
We're, uh, we'll bring you that game live on AM 1230, live on our YouTube channel, live on our website, kxoradio.com. Friday night, it'll be Mickey Dale, George Grijalva. West Hills will uh, move into Imperial. That's always a good game. And uh, Mickey and George will be live on AM 1230, live on the website, kxoradio.com, and live on YouTube. But you're saying we get two games live on AM 1230 this week. You got it. Thursday right. night, Friday night. Nice. We got it. And uh, if you're still, you know, you want to see some really exciting football, flag football, it's uh, still underway. There's a tournament going on, and uh, the ladies are playing, um, well, through tonight at uh, various schools around the valley. So... Okay, birthday, is he ready? Birthday time. Guitarist James Burton. He was with Elvis Presley. He's 85. Singer Jackie DeShannon, 83. Actor Patty McCormick is 79. Singer Carl Giamarisi of the Buckingham, 77. Actor Loretta Devine, 75. Singer Glenn Hughes of Deep Purple, 72. Actor Kim Cattrall is 68. Actor Cleo King, 62. Actor Carrie Ann Moss, 54, actor Alicia Witt is 49, actor Diego Klattenhoff is 45, actor Cody Kosh is 37, actor Hayden Panettiere is 35, actor RJ Mitty is 32, actor Maxim Knight, 25 local birthdays coming up. Hi, I'm Dr. David Farkas, superintendent of Central Union High School District. Academic success starts with being present. Every day counts when it comes to a student's education. Don't let absences hold them back. Let's strive for success. Be present, be punctual, and be prepared for a bright future. Every day at school is a step closer to your child achieving their dreams. Attendance matters. Let's make every day count. We have happy birthday wishes today for Brenda Godinus. Alma Rosa Gonzalez, Ernesto Garcia, A.J. Yanez, Isabel Flores, Olivia Ruiz, Stephanie Vargas, Geraldine Sanchez, Carter Hawk, Robert Benavides, Ryder Kaufman, Elena Reyes, Gary Wong, Angie Mendoza, Victoria Sotelo, Angie Contudno, Annalisa Burgos, Fidelia Irigoyen, Jim Braley, Joaquin Valdez, Kayla Lavender, Laura Fisher, Teresa Marquez, Charlene Vae, and Melissa Martinez. Happy birthday from KXO. Oh, one more thing. Okay, on this date in 2014, Sir Paul McCartney topped the list of the richest bassist in the world with an estimated worth of um, $1.2 billion. That according to the richest.com. <laughs> World's richest bass player, right? You don't hear that very often, do you? Yeah, it's kind of like insanely talented tambourine player or employed heavy metal singer. You just don't hear that a whole lot. Ah, news, we've got it. Let's jump in with a look at World and California news headlines. And uh, the uh, news brought to you this morning by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District, delivering real-time updates about the air that you breathe. CBS News special report. The spotlight shifts at the Democratic National Convention to Kamala Harris running mate Tim Walz. He knows who he is, and he knows what's important. Former President Obama paving the way for Walz to accept the vice presidential nomination in Chicago tonight after an introduction by former President Clinton. Correspondent Ed O'Keefe expects the Minnesota governor to go after both former President Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance. It's those kinds of attacks that he was making in the beauty contest between Joe Biden running or dropping out and Kamala Harris making a choice that suddenly propelled him to the top. Mr. Trump and Vance make a campaign stop in Battleground, North Carolina today. CBS's Scott McFarlane is already there in Asheboro. They have brought both principles here to North Carolina. I think that really underscores the growing stakes and the growing focus of the Tar Heel State. CBS News Special Report. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. The Imperial County Air Pollution Control District delivers real-time information about the quality of the air you breathe. Visit the website at apcd.imperialcounty.com.
Org to stay informed about air quality around the valley. The website also includes information for upcoming meetings, programs, and there's access to the dust cams set up around the valley. Visit apcd.imperialcounty.org today. California Headline News. Governor Gavin Newsom cast California's ballots for Kamala Harris in a ceremonial roll call vote at Tuesday's session of the Democratic National Convention. California, we proudly cast our 482 votes for the next president, Kamala Harris. The vice president will formally accept the nomination when she speaks tomorrow night. Stormy weather moving into the northern part of the state. Rain and thunderstorms accompanying a big drop in temperatures tomorrow. In particular, we're concerned about the potential for flooding over the uh the recently burned uh, burn scar there of the Park Fire, which is in Butte County and portions of Tehama County. Craig Shoemaker with the National Weather Service saying warmer conditions are likely to return by early next week. After rejecting a bid to throw out the trial, the judge in Los Angeles holds a status conference on Hunter Biden's federal tax case today. The hearing to be presided over by a judge appointed by former President Trump. The case alleges Biden failed to pay $1.4 million in taxes. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Log on to imperialvalleyair.org for real-time information about the air that you breathe. Why choose the Sleep Number Smart Bed? Can I make my side softer? Can I make my side firmer whenever I want? Can we sleep cooler? Sleep Number does that. Cools up to eight times faster and lets you choose your ideal comfort on either side. 94% of Sleep Number smart sleepers report better sleep. J.D. Power ranks Sleep Number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store. And now, during our biggest sale of the year, save 50% on the Sleep Number limited edition smart bed. Limited time. For J.D. Power 2023 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. To find a store near you, visit sleepnumber.com. I had been starting to be sick all the time at work, so I went to the doctor. He asked if people in the office smoked. He identified it as being exposed to secondhand smoke. I decided to sue. It was worth it in the end, California being the first state to be smoke-free in workplaces and restaurants in the country. Andrea was part of a historic movement to ban smoking in the workplace. Learn how she and other Californians are fighting big tobacco at undo.org. And it's page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers, three locations to serve you, and mobile service vans that come to you throughout the Imperial Valley. KXO News. IID looks to average billing. The Imperial Irrigation District will evaluate transitioning customers to average billing. Here's George Gale. The IID board on Tuesday approved a resolution to conduct a detailed analysis and evaluate the process and benefits of transitioning all residential customers to average monthly billing. The traditional monthly billing system has seasonal fluctuations that sees electric bills spike in the summer. Average billing has been available as an option to residential customers for some time. The board directed General Manager Jamie Asbury to assess the benefits and concerns relating to converting all customers to the average billing system. According to the board, the evaluation should consider financial implications as operational feasibility. As a simply opt-out option or a simple opt-out option should be evaluated as well as several other issues that to be studied. General Manager Asbury said they are committed to exploring every avenue to uh, support the uh, customers uh, through these uh, challenging times. The uh, findings and recommendations are expected to be uh, presented to the Board of Directors by November 2024. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Imperial County Office of Education has an annual report. It is their annual report to the community. The annual report highlights the agency's dedication to building a strong foundation for student success in Imperial County. The annual re report showcases how ICOE collaborates with local school districts, government agencies, industry leaders, and community organizations. The report can be viewed and downloaded at, at, on the ICOE website at icoe.org slash yearbook. KXO Local News, 742.
Before you head out on the road, head into El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Ask for the works. Trained technicians will change the oil using up to six quarts of synthetic blend oil. Change the filter, rotate the tires, top off the fluids, check the belts, hoses, battery, and brakes, all for one low price. It's the works at Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers at All Central Motors, the Imperial Valley Mall, and the Brawley Auto Center, or with their new mobile service wherever you are. Traffic alert. If you're traveling in the area of Dogwood and McCabe Roads, be alert. Here's George Gale with details. According to the uh, county, uh, the uh, traffic signal at the intersection was damaged by a vehicle Monday night. As a result, the intersection is operating as an all-way stop until repairs are completed. There are stop signs in place and motorists are advised to follow the right-of-way rules at that intersection. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And we have a 2024 heat-related illness update. Public Health Department issued an update. It is, uh, according to the update, uh, heat-related illnesses have increased. Fortunately, heat-related deaths have not increased. There have been 10 heat-related deaths in Imperial County since the beginning of summer. There have been 11 cases of heat stroke reported, 57 cases of heat exhaustion, and 43 cases of heat fatigue and dehydration. The Public Health Department says the numbers are provided by El Central Regional Medical Center, Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, and the Imperial County Coroner's Office. There is still about a month of high temperatures to go. The the health department says exposure to high temperatures can cause serious health problems, even death. Take precautions and know where the cool centers and hydration stations are located. That's it for page one of local news. Page two and weather up next. Page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations in the valley and mobile service vans, multiple that uh, come to you with no additional charge. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models and you never need an appointment. Teachers, head back to class in style. Your local Goodwill store has casual, comfortable clothing and shoes for those long days on your feet. Find everything you need for science projects and arts and crafts activities. Keep your classroom organized with baskets and bins for storage, all at the right price to fit your budget. And Goodwill uses revenues from our stores to fund free employment services and job training programs in our community. Find out more. Visit idgoodwill.org. Goodwill, making good happen. Page two of the local news and a side of weather brought to you by Burgers and Beer, serving the best burgers in the Valley. They have daily lunch specials Monday through Friday and, of course, happy hour every day, 3 till 6 p.m. $5 million worth of meth, more than two tons of methamphetamine, was found in a truck full of watermelons. Here's George Gale. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers at the Ote Mesa Commercial Facility found 1,220 packages wrapped in paper disguised as watermelons in the uh, shipment manifested as watermelons. According to the CBP, 29-year-old man driving a commercial tractor trailer entered the port with the truckload of melons. Driver and vehicle were referred to secondary inspection where the drugs were discovered. Meth weighed nearly 4,600 pounds and with a, has Street value estimated at over five million dollars. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And a human smuggler has been sentenced. Human smuggler sentenced to seven months in prison. Kevin Noah Campos Villa was arrested in January. Uh, Border Patrol agents caught him smuggling seven people into the United States through the sewer tubes between Mexico and the U.S. Uh, Campos entered a guilty plea earlier this week. The Tijuana resident was sentenced to seven months in prison. Uh, sentencing was pronounced in the San Diego Federal Court. And today is National Senior Citizens Day. Uh, day to honor your senior citizens. Here's George Gale. County Board of Supervisors recently declared August 21st as National Seniors Day in Imperial County. Purpose is to honor and appreciate the wisdom, achievements, and ongoing contributions of older adults while uh, raising awareness about the importance of supporting and celebrating seniors in the county. The Area Agency on Aging hosts an annual Seniors Day, normally held at the fairgrounds. They have not announced when that day will be held this year. For KXL Local News, 
I'm George Gale. Brawley Elementary School District. There is one school district that has not begun their school year. It is the Brawley Elementary School District. Their school year begins on August 26th. They will begin the new school year with a brand new school. The $36 million Padilla Pas uh, Middle School is expected to open for students on August 26th. Officials say construction on the new school will be complete on opening day. The principal for the new school will be Ivan Bill Dosola. And the Business Showcase Summer Series, Imperial Valley Business Showcase. It is the Summer Series. It will be held August 22nd in the Martin Luther King Sports Pavilion, 770 Park Avenue in El Centro. It will start at 5 p.m. It will be open to the public. Admission is free. It's a chance to connect with locally owned businesses. KXO News Time 749. We'll take a look at weather in just a moment. Did you know that Burgers and Beer has happy hour every day from 3 to 6? With specials on select appetizers, beer specials, and more. Ask for drink specials all day with $5 drinks like Margarita Monday, Tonic Tuesday, Wine Down Wednesday, and Thirsty Thursday. Check out our weekly lunch specials with a soft drink starting at only $8.50. Specials include Bud Bottles for only $4.50. Burgers and Beer with five locations proudly serving you, your family, and friends since 1985. Burgers and beer for the best burger in town. The National Weather Service says drier and seasonally warm temperatures continue through this weekend. Temperatures are expected to warm by a few degrees heading through early next week. 113 the high yesterday, 85 the overnight low. Today will be sunny with a high near 108. Heat index values will make it feel like 115. Southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 83. South wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Winds turn out of the northeast after midnight. Thursday, sunny with a high near 108. North wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming south-southwest in the afternoon. And we have 87 degrees, 64% relative humidity. Wind out of the east, southeast 7 to 10 miles an hour. Air quality throughout the valley right now is good. Local news, page two in the weather, brought to you by Burgers and Beer. It's the place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family, meet your friends at Burgers and Beer. Did you know that California offers various programs and services to support older adults, adults with disabilities, and family caregivers? From health insurance counseling to caregiver support and information on elder abuse, the Aging Resource Guide has it all. And let's not forget about the friendship line available 24 seven for those who may need a friendly conversation. Dive into the aging resource guide today at aging.ca.gov and discover the support you need. Cause together we can ensure every older adult in California gets the help they deserve. It's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District an affiliate of the Scripps South Network, working together to provide you the best care. National League West, yeah, things uh, didn't change. Diamondbacks beat the Marlins 3-1. to one. It was the Dodgers beating the Mariners 6-3. to three, And the Padres won. They came from behind and topped the Twins 7-5. to five. Elsewhere, Rockies over the Nationals 3-1. to one. Guardians topped the Yankees 9-5. It went 12 innings. Blue Jays beat up on the Reds 10-3. Orioles continue to roll. They beat the Mets 9-5. Braves over the Phillies 3-1. And it was the Brewers edging the Cardinals 3-2. Cubs beat the Tigers 3-1. Pirates shut out the Rangers 4-0. Angels topped the Royals 9-5. Red Sox nipped the Astros 6-5. Rays held on and beat the Athletics 1-0. And the Giants 4 the White Sox won. The White Sox, an exercise in futility. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations at Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. 
Well, Pete Carroll isn't sure whether he'll return to coaching, at least not for now. He is returning to USC, the former Seahawks and Trojans coach. Uh, Well, he's teaching a class at USC, USC this spring, though he didn't offer any specifics beyond that. He'll be back. Aaron Rodgers says he was warned in April. The Jets quarterback was told by coach Robert Saleh that he could expect a tough training camp. And uh, Rodgers called this one of the most taxing camps he's experienced in many years. Rodgers said he liked it. Well, let's see if he lasts more than four plays this year. And as holdout Dallas Cowboys wide receiver C.D. Lamb continues, owner and general manager Jerry Jones said yesterday, the sides are having promising talks regarding a contract extension. Now, just what that means is not entirely clear because negotiations have taken place at different times throughout training camp without a resolution. Yeah, I had opening day against the Browns is September 8th. You know, come on. You do not win NFL Super Bowls with wide receivers. No. You know, you can live without... Just have some marginally talented ones, and you're going to do fine. Anyway, in other news, Alabama landed its fourth top 30 commitment in the 2025 class uh, yesterday when four-star prospect Akalin Deer, the number two running back in the 2025 cycle, announced his pledge to the Crimson Tide. Hey, they got more money than anybody else. Why not go? Uh, That's it for Sports Time, Sports Time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full color brochures and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security and Southwest Postal Service, the only postal box service offering 24-hour a day, 365 days a year service. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Ohio in El Centro. U.S. consumers strained by years of higher prices and elevated interest rates are changing their shopping patterns. Americans are buying more at discount chains like Target and Walmart while dialing back spending at Macy's and Lowe's. Target's sales at stores open at least one year increased 2% last quarter and its profit boomed 36%. The company's stock surged 13% in pre-market trading. Target was boosted by price cuts. The company slashed prices on 5,000 frequently bought items at stores to draw customers, and it worked. Foot traffic at Target stores increased 3% during the quarter, and shoppers spent on discretionary products like clothing. Ford today acknowledged America's electric vehicle market just isn't what the automaker expected it to be. Customers are increasingly price conscious and range anxious. So Ford is making big changes to its EV plans, focusing on hybrids and affordability, electrification options, including lower prices and longer ranges. Ford ditched plans for its next lineup of all electric SUVs, replacing them with hybrid models, which typically offer shorter battery range, but longer overall range when combined with a gasoline engine. On the big board right now, we see mixed messages. The Dow right now off 58 points at 4776. 
Meanwhile, the S&P 500 up four and a half at 56.01. The NASDAQ up 18 points at 17.834. Gold down $11.10 an ounce. Oil, right now, oil is up 90, uh, up 71 cents a barrel. Southwest Security has been protecting properties 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, right here at Imperial and Coachella Valleys. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been in the private security business for over 25 years and have always made it my mission to always provide my clients with the highest quality security services available. Your satisfaction is my number one priority. And don't forget Southwest Postal, the only postal center in Imperial Valley with 24-7, 365 access to your post office box. Access when you need it. Located on the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. We will have sunny skies today with a high near 108, but heat index values will make it feel like 115. Southeast wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 83. South wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Winds turn northeast after midnight. Tomorrow, sunny with a high near 108. North wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming south-southwest in the afternoon. 88 degrees downtown El Centro, still 63% relative humidity. Wind out of the east-southeast at 5 to 7 miles an hour. Air quality, right now, air quality good throughout the valley. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security and Southwest Postal Service. Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you, your home, your business, your construction site, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Be a part of the Raiders Nation on FM 107.5. On first and goal, a snap and the toss to the right. Las Vegas Raiders football. 10, 5, touchdown! On FM 107.5. Ready enough! The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro on AM 12. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by T Mobile. I'm Steve Kathan. Former President Obama led the charge at the second night of the Democratic National Convention, revving up support for presidential nominee Kamala Harris. We have a chance to elect someone who has spent her entire life trying to give people the same chances America gave her. Someone who sees you and hears you. CBS's Matt Piper is in Chicago. Tonight's theme, A Fight for Freedom, where former President Bill Clinton is set to speak, as is Nancy Pelosi of California. Kamala Harris's running mate, Tim Walls, is expected to take the stage to officially accept the vice presidential nomination. Well, CBS's Scott McFarlane is in Asheboro, North Carolina, where former President Trump will hold his first outdoor rally since last month's assassination attempt. Law enforcement officials tell CBS News the Secret Service has approved new bulletproof glass to go around the podiums and stages at Trump's outdoor events. His campaign says this will be a set of remarks focused on the military and defense issues in a state that's home to Fort Liberty and Camp Lejeune. It's also in a state both parties think is winnable in November. Overseas, reports say divers off Sicily have found two bodies in the search for six people missing after a luxury yacht sank in a storm. Back here at home, CBS's Jim Crisula tells us there's new focus on a prison that's had a long list of problems. The U.S. Department of Justice has launched an investigation into a privately operated Tennessee prison where officials say violence and sexual abuse have gone unaddressed for years. Recent incidents include five stabbings in less than three weeks earlier this year. U.S. Attorney Henry Leventis. Trousdale has been plagued by chronic serious problems since it's first opened its doors. The Trousdale Turner Prison has 2,500 inmates and is the biggest in Tennessee. A man who escaped from a Mississippi courthouse and is wanted on murder charges was arrested today after a standoff with police at a Chicago restaurant just blocks from the Democratic National Convention. CBS's Nancy Chen tells us Jennifer Lopez has filed for divorce from Ben Affleck after two years of marriage. The duo first met in 2002 on the set of the film Geely. They drive me crazy. They got engaged after a whirlwind romance, but stopped short of heading down the aisle. Can you see if we can get in the papers? <laughs> I'm to... They parted ways in 2004, moving on and becoming parents with other partners. The two famously rekindled their romance in 2021. I want to be in love. With Lopez chronicling it on her album. Album and musical film This Is Me Now. And checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is down 75 points. NASDAQ is up 19. The S&P is up two and a half.
This is CBS News. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. Get the savings you want on America's largest 5G network. Visit T-Mobile.com slash choice 5G and start saving today. It's better over here. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has an exclusive rate plan just for you. Right now, get two lines of talk, text, and data for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, you can get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. That's right, a free 5G phone. Experience all this and more on America's largest 5G network. So why wait? At T-Mobile, customers 55 and up can get two lines of talk, text, and data for only 30 bucks a line. Just go to T-Mobile.com slash Choice55 or visit your local store to make the switch. With auto pay using debit or bank account, plus taxes and fees, 45% off two lines versus AT&T starter and Verizon welcome. Plan benefits vary. Free phones up to $300 off with 24 monthly bill credits and qualifying new line for well-qualified customers, plus tax and $35 device connection charge. Contact us before canceling your entire account to continue remaining bill credits. Bill credits end if you pay off device early. See details at T-Mobile.com. Summer is in its final weeks. Here's the music that marks the summer of 24. Yes, I want to make it so messy. TikTok has crowned Tommy Richmond's million dollar baby the song of summer. Number two. If you keep up with me. Tinashe's Nasty Then Champagne Coast by Blood Orange. Ian's Magic Johnson and Birds of a Feather by Billie Eilish round out the top five. I want you to stay. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. A new study says a regular diet of red meat and processed meats is associated with a higher risk of type 2 diabetes. The analysis looked at data from 2 million adults in 20 countries. Red and processed meats tend to be higher in saturated fats, which can cause greater insulin resistance. Meat consumption has previously been linked to heart disease and cancer. Steve Kaith and CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. 1230 